Welcome back. I'm Ablaut, and this is day 19 of my VCV rack experiments. I'm doing a 50 day challenge in which most days of the week I'm making a new patch in VCV rack, getting to know it better. Today I made this. I'm calling it inebriated undulations because we're using the two drugs as well our kind of random source of notes or like pitches. The two drugs is a so-called parasite, an alternative firmware for the tides module from uh, mutable instruments and the description of this firmware says that two drunks is a complex duophonic random walk generator with selectable interpolation driven by two altered clocks so we have two clocks one is jittery going all over the place the other simulates a biased coin toss this mode is quite versatile and can be used as an oscillator of PLL, a Bernoulli gate, a random trigger delay, a step, smooth or wave shape, random voltage generator, a random burst generator, a surprising filtered noise source and probably more. So first of all, I was looking at this, at this as like a wave shaped random voltage generator. So we are putting our clock into our two drugs here, 69 BPM, um, also because we have two voices here, so I thought 69 was kind of nice to use here, and I wanted something not too fast. What's happening then? Well, we have the interpolation setting, the random and cointo, so these are the two voices coming out of two drugs. We have clock one coming out, and clock two coming out, and then random one and random two. So these clocks are triggers, or gates, more likely, but I'm using them as triggers here in the sample and hold module. And then random here, these are um, voltages for, which you would normally use for pitch. But I'm not using them for pitch, I'm using them to drive this LFO. Which then um, sends its output to all kinds of things. I'm using this also to modulate the two drunks and then the lambs here. As you can see. Alright, so the two drunks send clock signals, triggers, that I'm using in this sample and hold module. Then what am I using as the input to the sample and hold? That is the output of LAMS, and LAMS is a parasite. Well, alternative firmware. I don't think it's a parasite, actually. Uh, an alternative mode of tides. Again, so we have two tides in two different modes. So this one is for us generating voltage that we will use for pitch. And two drunks is first of all used to generate clock. All right, the output then from the sampler hold module I sent to this attenuverter. Um, so that the range isn't so too wild, too all over the place. I, I prefer lower notes rather than the very high ones, as you may have noticed. And the output is then sent into this quantizer, Scala quantizer, one of my favorite modules. Um, it is set in a xylophone tuning from the Chopi tribe, Southern Mozambique. Something like that. Anyway, an alternative tuning. I think it sounds quite nice. I'm using two quantizers here, uh, using the same scale selected. Um, 
So I'm sending one input into the quantizer uh, triggered by clock one, and then the other is triggered by clock two, and that one goes again to the attenuator and then to this quantizer. So I have two voices. This on the upper half of the screen is the higher voice, and on the lower half of the screen is the lower voice. The bass. Okay, what else do we have? We have a slew limiter, so that we don't get two sudden jumps in pitch. We have a, the envelope is kind of shaped, so that it's shaping up the pitch. Because this is going into the level octave of the cloud generator. I used that the other day and I really liked it. Um, though today we're using the sign out. which goes into this delay, which is set to two timings um, that correspond to the clock. If you want to see how I do that, there is this BPM2 delay hertz calculator from AS. So we'll connect the clock. BPM that results in triplets, one eighth, one eighth triplets of 290 milliseconds, and then the dotted one eighth as 652 milliseconds here. Alright, so that's how I get those timings. And you'll probably need to press control or something to fine tune these. Uh, the longer timing, I've given a bit more feedback. Dial the mix back a bit, and then send it into Oliverb, and Oliverb is a parasite alternative firmware of clouds. So, for the higher voice, I'm dialing in quite a bit of reverb. Not as much here in the lower voice because the bass voice loses definition quite easily. And uh, the cloud generator also gets some modulation from this LFO here. And I'm using slow limiter to not get too wild um, jumps here in the spread but this also comes from the cell phone see this is connected to this and that's connected to that all right the lower voice similar idea to the upper voice except here i've only modulated to the chaos parameter And I'm sending the bass voice through Depriatus, the wave destruction module from Volt. Um, giving it some saturation, a slight little bit of distortion, and then some wave folding here, that which is modulated. Much harder to hear. 
So I also modulate saturation from the second channel, the second LFO here. So sometimes you get something more here. And it's so set into all of her. Um, yeah, a much drier setting. And that goes into our mixer. Alright, what else is this keyframer doing, which are, we are using as poly LFO? So this module in poly LFO mode generates four different LFOs and it has some kind of wavetable for that. Where in the wavetable we are is set by this number one dial. Uh, number two dial, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, is the differences between the four LFOs and then some other things here, which I already forgot. But I looked it up because I have a PDF. Uh, maybe I should link that in the description. Okay, so we're using this as LFO to modulate all these things here, and so we get some more variation in uh, what we're hearing. And I think um, that's it for my patch today. Yeah, also here, this, this LFO from Frozen Wasteland uh, has some inputs here, so one input here is modulated by this random output from the two trunks and the other one is modulating this parameter. The amp is modulated here from the slow limiter which I'm also using to drive the bass voice. So it changes in sync but then all these outputs you probably won't hear how it's in sync. Anyway, you get some wild stuff going on here. So this is uh, like my alternative to Kaldal uh, for today. Although I have used it before. And this is the first time I'm using this keyframer mixer module. And uh, I like it. I like it. So the result is a bit alien sounding signals. Don't know what they've drunk. But it sounds like they're having fun. At least I enjoy this. I hope you do too. So like and subscribe. And I'll see you back again. Hopefully tomorrow.